Hey guys, this is Jim, and welcome to episode 5 of Manufactio, the Minecraft mod pack based on. It's mod by Factorio! Hehe. <laughs> ah, yes, they're back, guys. They're back. Yes. And uh, it's all our fault because of all that up there. Yes. Uh, we shall go and deal with that, well, as much as we can for the moment. Uh, just in a sec. Now, since last episode, I just added a few more belts uh, here to put more coal going out to our little iron smelter there that smelts up the iron for uh, the steel smelting here. Oh yes, that's right, so we need five. Uh, and, oops, ooh, ooh, there you go, ooh, there we go. <laughs> and I put another one there to feed uh, coal down to the two drills down there, so we're automatically getting, uh, getting those fed with coal as well. Uh, and just over this way, where are we? Ooh, through the through the through the weeds again. Uh, no, not that guy. <laughs> this guy, the coal one itself. So I put in a little bit of uh, uh, stuff here. Oh, oh boy. Up, up. Yeah, there we go. Good. So that the uh, the coal also feeds back directly into here, so that the uh, coal mining drill that we've got here will continually feed itself. So it'll sort of alternate between these two uh, inserters there, as this one needs more fuel. This is the problem. Polluted Earth. Now, we did read right at the start of the series that Polluted Earth will appear around the place as we do more pollution. Uh, yes. And now it's starting to appear. Now, there's just one block there because... Of, oh, yes, because the mobs... The mobs... The mobs sport on this. Yes. So there's one block there, um, and there is... There is night. Did it again. I started recording right at night time. Look at this! And all this... There's polluted earth everywhere. There, there, there. And all over, up around here. Yes, the, the, the bugs are back. Uh, and we're getting them quite frequently at the moment. So there's this stuff everywhere. Oh, boy. So, hmm. Oh, I better reload my... Oh. How did I climb the tree? <laughs> How did I manage that? Oh, okay. Oh, and it's, it's just oh, night and raining, guys. Just for the start of the episode. Fun, fun. Uh, what we have to do, we have to go get rid of this, all this uh, polluted earth. Uh, oh, can we... Uh, oh, bug! Bug! <laughs> bug! Oh, look at that. <laughs> Explodey bug. Uh, yes, good thing that we do have, uh, have a gun, so I can take care of them. But yes, we've really got to mine up all this, and we're going to have to start looking into pollution mitigation uh, pretty soon. Now, we do have to also get back to our power, which we were working towards last episode, towards the end there. Uh, so I'll do a bit of mining of all this junk around the place. Maybe, maybe try and fill in the holes, <laughs> or some of them at least. Uh, yeah, so we can at least do a little bit of clean-up. Hmm, this, uh, this stuff is, is appearing quite regularly now. I'm wondering if it's the rain that is doing it, because I'm running around and I'm sure I've got all of it. And then I look around again and, and there's more. So it seems to be what we can, what we can sort of figure out is that if, it's, if you're directly under a tree, it won't get there. But like this one over here... Uh, this one's got a direct view of the sky. It seems to be that sulphur uh, pollution. The yellow one up there seems to be the worst one for it. So we might just look at... Oh, I'm out of dirt. <laughs> we might look at just sort of planting some more trees to protect the ground here. Can you grow with some bone meal? Yes. Yes, like that. And the yellow, uh, the yellow sulphur one, it seems to be oh, blowing sort of across in that direction. Look at all the dead trees over there, too. Oh, that, that used to be nice and green. Look at those sort of stumps of the dark oaks there. So the rain might be really contributing <laughs> to the pollution coming through that sulphur pollution. We are really going to have to start 
looking into that a bit, I think. Hmm, yes, yeah, so I've, I've planted the cherry trees in a few places there because they have a nice broad leaves pattern there, so they really spread out wide and nice and thick. So if they help protect the ground, that's good. We may have to look at... Uh... Yeah, there's a bug. <laughs> Thought I heard something. Look at him go. And they are... Oh, he's coming up. Hey! Phew! And they do leave the cobwebs there, so I've taken to taking shears around with us, have that in our inventory. Um, yeah, because we're going to get caught. Yeah, so we might have to look at moving indoors to try and protect ourselves with walls and things and gun turrets. So we have unlocked the turrets, we just haven't made one yet. Uh, but first, but first, but first, we want to do the power that we were looking at. So we needed, we've got most of the bits there, uh, we needed Electrum. Electrum? And so we've got some gold there. Oh, he's back again. Oh boy! Man, 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 they are fast. <laughs> uh, I built a little cave down there, by the way, so there's zombies and things all through there. Electrum! Yes, where was our Electrum? There, so we've got some. I do have... I uh, did find some gold and silver. Uh, so that little pollution patch is there's a silver underneath that, a drill, and that one's the gold one over there. There goes more pollution. So we'll get all our, uh, our, our power things together. I'm um, still crafting up what we need for the generator, uh, but we did see an episode two or two ago that we needed, uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, uh, bronze, 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 bronze for something. And it needs three copper and one tin to make bronze, and we do make it in the kiln here. So we'll just, uh, we'll just get these going, because we do need it for some weapons, which are going to become very important, I think. I have to mine cobblestone again, but for pistons this time. <laughs> and we're doing it in the dark, in a dark cave, because we have no lights. Ah, uh, dear. This is taking a lot of crafting. We're, we're working towards this, uh, this quest we looked at last episode, so the steam generator. Uh, all these things are really expensive in the end, and, and, and involve a lot of crafting. So, yeah, we really need this power to get the auto crafting going. Um, while we're waiting... Uh, I just got a couple of loot bags because I am getting pretty regularly attacked <laughs> by mobs. Uh, so let's have a look. What did we get? Obsidian? Oh, nice. Uh, oh, the loot chests. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it, I guess. Uh, ice bucket challenge. Oh, is that for the obsidian? Maybe? Hmm. Uh, this one. Oh, buy a bag of, bleh, bag of advanced components. I didn't check what the other one was. Uh, we've got some more, oh yeah, of those, the uh, IE uh, better power thingies. Uh, oh, we got one of those and one of those. Okay, let's uh, oop, take all those as well. Okay, if I pick this up, hopefully it'll be quest complete. Quest complete! Steam power. Okay, so now we can go set up both the boiler and the steam generator, which I think we'll do... Rotten flesh, we can leave that. <laughs> we'll probably do it over this way here. Uh, our... oh boy. What a mess, guys! What a mess! Weeds everywhere, although we should be thankful. They're probably helping with the pollution. Uh, our coal drill is there, so we might set up the power around here and then get a, another coal drill feeding directly into it. Okay, so I've got us just some uh, some of the iron plate slabs here and lifted us up a bit, just a few blocks, just enough to be above the grass there and to leave the grass. Uh, so let's build our boiler. So we're going to need a hatch for the inputting of fuel. So we might put that there. And a controller we'll put there. And then these firebox blocks around like this, like so. Then next up, uh, what do we need next? <laughs> All right, we're going to need this guy to let in the water. So we'll use that as our water source there. And then we just need lots and lots of these. Ooh, they changed color. Ooh, there's a controller. <laughs> so we can do a variable size one, but I think this one is going to be a 3x3x5, three by three by assuming I have read <laughs> the book correctly. There, 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 and there. And then... 
One, two, three, four, five. Yes, good, good, good. I counted. <laughs> Although we do have a few leftover blocks, but uh, and then we'll put the vent on the top. Okay, have we built this right? Let's see. Hopefully the controller will tell us. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got no water, no steam, and no fuel yet. So we'll get maybe, uh, for the moment, just to get things going, we'll... Uh, there's the hatch, that's where we'll put in the coal, but we'll manually put it in for the moment. Uh, but the water, we do need to have the fluid pump down here somewhere, maybe... I don't know, about there? That looks pretty good. The pipes are nice, aren't they? I do like these pipes. Uh, can we do this? Can we? Oh, nearly. Oh. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> Okay, so I've just put some coal in the boiler there. Ooh, I think I need more coal. Hang on, I'll take half of that. Uh, the pipe is connected, but our our pump here does need power. So we just uh, just nicked one of the coal generators temporarily from over there that we've used previously. So we'll put you in there and then just get this guy connected up to there like that. And then hopefully you and you are now connected. Now, are you pumping? Can we tell? Oh, does it not have a gooey? Oh, we hit the power. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go check upstairs with the boiler up here. Bye, seeds. And let's see if we get water coming in. We do not. Oh, I might need the engineering hammer to change directions on the pump, uh, which I did have in my inventory. Good. Click. Oh, yes, it turned blue. There we are. Looks like that might be the output now. Let's have a look. Hopefully, yes, fingers crossed, anything? Nothing, 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 nothing. Aha, aha, ha ha. Okay, we are producing steam pretty rapidly, which is good. Wow, <laughs> it looks like it's pretty rapid, but I don't know how rapid that actually is. Uh, the problem was the pump. I didn't have the pump set up right. Look at that guy go. Boy, oh boy, he's going bananas. Hey, no. Nah. Uh, hmm, yes, I want to show you the pump, but there's, there's that guy who's just being silly. Mate, what are you doing? Hey, there he is! Yeah, go on, take that. It's not another one, is there? No, good. <laughs> so I had to put the pump into the water, and, and believe it or not, that thing there is actually a lever, just a normal vanilla lever uh, with the new texture pack. Very cool. Uh, so we had to put that on there and turn that on, and we had to set blue to input so the water's going in there and over this side orange as output and this does need to be in the water there like that so now we can get on with building the generator yeah okay so we're building the diesel generator <laughs> that's being powered by steam uh, and these are all the blocks we've crafted it's quite a complex little structure there but uh, yeah it shouldn't take too long Okay, is that it? Click! It is! Very good! Alright, good, good, good. Uh, no gooey, or are we just not clicking the right spot? Potentially. <laughs> now we just got to figure out what goes where. So we are going to need to take the steam out of this guy up here with a pump, like so. Uh, and then, what was it? Orange for output. I think that was it, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, and bring him across somewhere into there uh, ooh. Uh, possibly there oh yes that connects good and it looks like the uh, little things on the whoop, on the top there will be where the power comes out and something on the front we'll figure it out aha we're going yeah and it's night again I apologize for the darkness <laughs> uh, okay so I ended up powering uh, that pump over there just with that coal generator, we could probably hmm, we could probably switch it to be powered from here uh, but for the moment I've strung up the wires across here to be powering our little crafting machine over here so this guy is currently crafting gears so we've used this guy before for gears uh, okay he's not crafting gears, he's crafting iron mechanical components yeah. Oh, I put the wrong recipe in. <laughs> yeah, okay, I put uh, that and that, not the uh, the gear wheel uh, mould thing. Ah, oh. anyway, we're getting those. Hopefully we can use them for something. Uh, but the good thing is we have a lot of power now, which is awesome, 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 awesome. 
Uh, we are going to need to automate the coal coming up here so that yes so that this uh, this is continuously fed we might put another little mining drill somewhere down there and just feed that one directly into here uh, but I will take care of that uh, off camera soon oh yeah and I forgot to claim our reward which was diamonds 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 very good we now have a couple more diamonds we've got some two already now we've got six <laughs> Okay, defense, <laughs> AKM. So this was a, a gun that we unlocked a little while ago, a couple of episodes ago, uh, but now we can actually make everything for it, including the ammo. And for that, that's what we need the bronze here for to create the rifle rounds there. Uh, so we should actually be able to just do this and this and go like that, nice. And we'll keep that crafting to get some more. Just chuck our ammo in there, and I think we'll get rid of this gun here. I don't think we'll carry this one around. We might have our pistol as a backup, and then have this one as our main gun. There we go. Give that a reload. Okay, baddies. <laughs> Let's bring up our map. There's red dots all there, which is down there. Uh, is that it? Is there nothing handy? There's nothing handy. I guess we'll go down here. <laughs> Hmm, although, uh, it is dark. <laughs> Hello, baddies! Now, the problem is the zombies are leaving the cobblestone blocks here, uh, which kind of blocks their, blocks their way. Oh, I think I hit a butterfly. So dark, I can't see. Is there going to be anything we can unlock and open up and have any baddies come after us? No, it's too dark. Too dark, we can't see. Night vision? There's got to be some night vision goggles or something. Um, oh, well, we've got this gun anyway. Uh, ready to go. <laughs> uh, hmm. We also unlocked the turret last uh, last episode, a couple of episodes ago. Uh, but it was pretty expensive. But I think we can actually make this now. Uh, I think we got enough goodies. So what I've been oh, climbing the trees again. <laughs> uh, I've been crafting up uh, like blocks automatically. Well, semi-automatically. I've been putting them in there uh, as we go. As these get fuller and fuller. In particular, the copper. We're getting tons and tons of copper. I think our steel is probably maybe a bit slow. Got tons of slag. Oh, and some eggs. <laughs> I think there's a chicken, a couple of chickens stuck up there. One up there. So there's eggs there. Uh, hmm, wonder where those other eggs came from. Okay, so we could craft a few, yes, but we do need to put the guns in them as well. Okay, like that. Uh, redstone, owner. Target animals, <laughs> PvP, oh yes, uh, single player win. That doesn't really help us. Power. Oh, they need power too, don't they? Ah, uh, uh, okay, so how about we get this guy set up maybe over near our boiler and just have it ready for the night. We do tend to get more things at night. Oh, bug. Ooh. <laughs> nice. That uh, that certainly takes care of the bugs pretty quick. Smart. I did go lose a bit of health there because I I sort of delayed shooting him before I pressed the record button. Okay. Oh, oh maybe not the best spot. <laughs> uh, so our generator is running to give this guy power. Oop. Oh, oh, he's turning. Targeting. Yeah. Okay. So we'll leave. Oh. Oh, he's in there, ammo. Ammo, ammo, oop, uh, ammo. <laughs> I just gave him our gun for the moment. Uh, you can go in, can you go in there? You can, good. All right, so we're just going to have to keep an eye out uh, and see if anything comes along. And while we wait for him, we might just have a quick look at some of the quests uh, and see if there's any that we can claim straight away. For We do have a bit of research on us. Plus, some of the early quests that we saw also uh, didn't require us to actually submit anything. So, particularly the early ones. Okay, that's unclaimed again. Yeah, uh, green science. Okay, we can't do that yet. Automation. Ooh, basic electronics. Uh, console command, like this, for example. By combining the inserter with circuits, we now have a way to sort items. Provides the item router from immersive engineering and additional logistical blocks from logistical automation. 
note this block outputs to either an inventory or IE belts. Okay, let's uh, submit that and claim. Very good. Yeah, so that's unlocked automation to all 80. Okay. Uh, before we go actually click through on these, oh, we're starting to get into the green there and the green. Okay, logistics one provides additional conveyor belts. Ooh, let's uh, let's take that one definitely. I wonder what sort of belts we now get, like fast belts and things. Provides a faster conveyor belt from logistical automation and the magnetic craft conveyor belts. Ah, okay. All right. Well, we'll get back to that soon. Uh, is there any others that we can now make? Uh, belt, 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 uh, conveyor. Uh, conveyor logistical automation so we still can't click that at the moment yeah so we might actually have to unlock things there okay I did update the uh, the pack before I started this episode uh, this is about the fourth version that we've used this series because it is being continuously updated so there's a command you need to run to update your quests after you do an update of the pack and I think that's the command okay Cool. All right. So then we've done all that. Has that then taken care of a few other things? So there might be new quests or changes to quest rewards as we go along. We're currently using version 0.92 of the pack. Okay. Here's a good one. Optics. So this is in the science here. This only takes 10 research. Teaches the ability uh, to manipulate. Teaches the ability to manipulate and produce light provides access to the powered lantern from immersive engineering aha yes because it's definitely definitely dark around here uh, we unlock stage c4 excellent hmm i think we're gonna have to call it there um waiting for the gun to shoot again <laughs> come on gun shoot shoot there's no baddies coming after us. Uh, next episode, we'll continue on with all the quests. There's plenty we can actually unlock now if we get our red research really going. So next episode, we'll look at automating all that. That gun over there, he's swiveling around a lot, isn't he? <laughs> no baddies? Come on, turret, shoot something. <laughs> Soon enough, I think it'll be going pretty much full time. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.